welcome. This is the Elite Review Podcast coming at you here with a Loki episode one review. Uh, we'll also talk about just future theories. Got to have a fun discussion about the show, yeah. what we think about it so far. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, check us out on Instagram, the Elite Review Podcast. We are doing a series, a lot of series right now. We're going through Harry Potter, we're going through Lord of the Rings. And we'll be going through this Loki show as well. And we'll be posting a Quiet Place 2 review as well, so make sure to check that out if you haven't seen that. And let's go ahead and dive into Loki. What are yes. your general thoughts on this ship so far? Um, I absolutely love the first episode, like, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Um, I just thought it was really fun, and I love how, like, wacky it is. And I think that that'll be a lot of the show, which I'm really excited to see more of. Mm-hmm. Um, you kind of go more in depth with Loki's character too, which you don't see much in the other movies, and I really like that. Me too. Yeah. Um, that's my general thoughts. <laughs> uh. Nice. Um, yeah, I absolutely loved it. I, I can, I can't say it quite yet because the show's not over. But like, I, I'm. It's probably gonna be my favorite show. So I far. agree. <laughs> I can already kind of feel that from the first episode, but I don't want to say it yet because it's just one episode. And obviously, yeah. they haven't gotten to everything they need to yet. But yeah, I think we're in store for some really cool things. It's got everything that I've been wanting from these Disney Plus shows, which I haven't gotten yet. Yeah, Which right. is things that are really pushing the MCU forward, things that call back the MCU really well, and things like that. And WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier did not do that for me. They did their own things pretty good, like for those own personal stories. And that's really what those shows were about, was their own personal uh-huh. stories. Loki seems like it's like its own movie that's like really going to push forward Phase 4 in and it the seems future. Like- it's actually gonna incorporate the multiverse into it, <laughs> yeah. unlike WandaVision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we thought WandaVision would do that, and had a lot of teases for it, and it just didn't go anywhere. So. Didn't go through with it. <laughs> I'm very much not disappointed by this show. Um, by far, it feels like the best quality show we've gotten it so does. far. It does. I know. For sure. And it's obviously the least messed with one, because they didn't have to go through all the corona crap of having to cut plots and re-put plots and rewrite things and all that crap it's just like a solid show with mm-hmm. good writers good director we got the Rick and Morty writer here as the showrunner so that's yes. a great choice for a show like this I can't really think anybody who should be better to write it <laughs> True. you know than a Rick and Morty writer um, and you can feel those good Rick and Morty elements in the show mm. of um, just wackiness wackiness and how time kind of works and I'm sure we're going to see even crazier things we got a bunch of different versions of Loki that'll be popping up mm-hmm. um so really good and I'm excited because the writers you know he said he put like every crazy thought he could ever think of into the show so I'm glad that's awesome and um what's really cool too is how he's gonna be writing Doctor Strange 2 or I mean how he already wrote Doctor Strange 2 um which means these two will be pretty good connected (laughs) series so I like that a lot that's what I've been waiting for in the MCU um nice to have those personal stories and flesh out the characters but I'm excited to finally get something kind of important so I've been waiting so long for Black Widow so I could see something that kind of pushes the MCU forward a little bit Uh kind of just expand the MCU Um, it feels like the other two shows didn't do it too much Falcon and Winter Soldier with Captain America's arc yeah but yeah nothing insane like a multiverse no and then when we have all these crazy things about to come up it's just we need to start getting that stuff especially because this seems like it'll be connected to multiverse of madness it makes it that much more huge and it'll be probably connecting to Spider-Man 3 more than we even know in probably a way that's not going to be so obvious but if you really look into it I'm sure this will have a lot of implications for Spider-Man 3 and how those sort of things can happen I think WandaVision is like once we see Spider-Man 3 and Doctor Strange I'm sure we'll look back at WandaVision a little bit and go oh Okay, yeah, you know, she, I guess she has the dark hold, and that is connected to Multiverse going crazy, or Wanda, you know, she's the yeah. fully Scarlet Witch now. Like, those things will play into it, but um, it's just exciting to have a show go freaking crazy like this one. Yeah. And I'm glad the MCU is just embracing going just weird, you know? Like, <laughs> I know, me too. Like, you look at this compared to just, like, the Infinity Saga as a whole, and like, you can't think of too many things that are kind of wacky. Like, Guardians is probably the closest I can think of. Yeah, Guardians, just Doctor kind of Strange. Just wackier things, but this those is just things. embracing it fully, you mm-hmm. know, and I love that we can have people like the TVA who, you know, are these people that just kind of exist outside of a timeline and they kind of just watch timelines. Yeah. So they just have all this. Like, and they're like so new too and they incorporate it very well. Yeah. And they just have all this power over like controlling time to the mm-hmm. point like where they know like all the past, all the present, all the future. It's like you just don't think about how much power that is. But <laughs> yeah, I think, right. Uh, 
Loki's a great person to incorporate into that. I think like so, This too. guy who wants a lot of power. Also, um, yeah. Owen Wilson in this is so fun. Oh, yeah. Their dynamic is <laughs> so fun to watch. It is, yeah, and I think it's going to get much better. There, there's still some parts from the trailers and stuff that I'm like, I can't wait to see that happen. Uh-huh. Um, you know, but, yeah, I like how much Owen Wilson understands Loki and understands uh-huh. him better than he knows himself because he knows everything Loki's done and what he's going to do. Um, and there's just some really cool themes, too, of, like, uh, I don't know, themes of, like, Loki's character that are interesting that Owen Wilson's trying to bring up to him. Uh-huh. Kind of about, like, trying to make him kind of a better guy. He knows, like, that's in him, kind of. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, he has a lot of respect for Loki, too, and he knows just every trick about Loki. And I feel like they talk about important things about, kind of, like, you know, Loki doesn't like how everyone's fate's kind of determined by this you know, these timekeepers and stuff. Yeah. But then, you know, Owen Wilson's like, well, you know, do you like killing people? Like, what, do you want to be king? Like, just kind of going over all these things, like, about Loki and going deep into him, which is great. We honestly should have always gone deeper into Loki. Um, we should have. And it's kind of crazy how much he's been very... Like, he's great. He's always been great. But, like, he's been very sidelined in a way yeah that's why it's, it's so cool to get like a more focused storyline yeah. of his character exactly and I can tell there's probably gonna be a lot of growth in his character too by the I end of so this too. yeah and I, I do truly hope that we get to see like this Loki somehow end up in Thor 4 and stuff I'm pretty dang sure that's gonna happen I bet it'll happen um yeah Taika Waititi you know said he couldn't answer that and I'm sure that's an answer in itself. Uh, yeah <laughs> it'd be weird if he to couldn't not have answer Loki. it he would just say no you like can't not have Loki in like a, a, a Thor movie a Thor movie um, I want to see Thor's sure. reaction to it. he's gonna be like what <laughs> yeah How are like, you? I've seen you die so many times now um, uh, something else that I thought was just a little funny is that whole D.B. Cooper scene with him on the plane and uh, oh, yeah. the cast dropping have you ever heard of the real D.B. Cooper story I haven't okay um, well, it's a real story, but it's just basically a dude who did what Loki did, like, where he... I think he maybe was a murderer. I can't remember what he was. Or just a criminal. Like, he stole a lot of money. And then oh, yeah. he really... He ended up in a plane, and no one ever found out where he went. Like, to this day. Like, it was back in the 80s. Or something. Oh, really? No one ever knew what happened to him. <laughs> stole a bunch of money and stuff. And then when he left the plane, all they found was these, like, dollar bills that fell down. Um, oh, that's funny. And that's all they ever could find evidence close to him, so he got away with whatever he did. Um, but I liked how they were, he was like, you were D.B. Cooper. And then Loki <laughs> was like, this is the bet I made with Thor. He's like, I had to do it. And I thought that was just hilarious. That's so funny. Yeah, but... Um, Man, I wish I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I'm I excited to see Loki variants a lot more, like other ones, other versions of him. Especially yeah, like President too. Loki, like from the trailers, looks so fun, um, where he's, you know... Like the president, or I don't know what he is, but he just. Looks oh funny. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I'm excited to see things like that. And Me I, too. I want to see Loki react to other Lokis, and see how that goes down because I'm sure that'll be tons of fun. You know what I also really liked? Huh. Um, I love the moment where like he sees his mom dying and like. It's very emotional. Yeah. I love like I love him going through his whole life. Me too. This is very random, but uh, <laughs> and like seeing himself die. Yeah. For the whole episode, I'm like, I hope he, like, watches him something like that. That'd be really interesting. <laughs> yeah, I was happy with that, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, and when we just went through the events of the Avengers, I was like, come on. I was like, I want to see him with Thor. I want to see him get uh-huh. with Thanos. And, yeah. Uh, it's it's great acting by Tom Hiddleston, because it's, like, crazy how he thinks he's on this huge path to this huge achievement to just to see himself just die, you know? Yeah, like, that's such dies. a disappointment. He doesn't get what he, like, ends up burning. Yeah, he doesn't. And, um... I'm sure it's weird for him to see himself like that. He does good acting, too, at just being, like, this other version of himself that's back yeah, from, like, years ago, you know? Like, we saw that movie, all of us, like, years ago, the Avengers movie, and now he's having to act like that again. Yeah, he's Instead of, like, a redeemed Loki. Lucky. So, such good acting from Tom Hiddleston there. He does great, yeah. yeah and he's just, he's just great in general, so. Um, what do you think will happen on the next episode? Um... Well, we'll see who that was at the end. Yeah, everyone says Lady Loki. Lady Loki. Oh, yeah, she's in the trailers. I completely forgot about her, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, um, she seems pretty dope. I'm, I'm excited. So, to see I her. think we'll see her next episode. <laughs> I think so. Sure. Too. Um, that was brutal at the end, though. <laughs> yeah, she's like, dang. That was brutal. <laughs> um, seems from the trailers, we're gonna see some pretty gruesome stuff. Like, there's like that one shot of, like, I think. Earth is, like, basically completely destroyed. Like, the Avengers Tower is destroyed. Like, oh, I remember that, yeah. Yeah, just, like... I'm excited for that like, stuff. It just seems like crazy stuff will happen by these variants. 
obviously it must be pretty crazy if they can't handle it themselves, the TV8. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm excited to see Loki get knives, do magic and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just the way he always does. Um, I want to see him pull more tricks. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like on the next episode, yeah, I think Owen Wilson and him will go on their journey to find variants. I don't know where they'll start or anything like that. And then yeah. I'm sure they'll give him, like, an orientation on how to take care of that or something. I don't know. And then I'm sure they'll go on missions and things might fail or Loki might have advice for them or something. Yeah. Seems like Loki's, Loki's gonna end up leveling with these variants maybe at some point. At least with Lady Loki. There's, like, all this shot I keep seeing of him. He's, like, sitting down talking with a girl. I think I've seen that, too. And everyone thinks that he's probably gonna end up maybe sympathizing with the variants a little bit. Which I'm sure will happen. So I don't know what to see what, what if the there. Avengers show up? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope we get like some sort of cameo. Like I'm not expecting anything big, but it'd be cool to I see. I feel like we will. Someone fun or something. Especially because like you go and you see like the Avengers Tower destroyed and stuff. Like we're obviously gonna see like New York. Yeah, so I hope we see some sort of cameo. It doesn't have to be big, but you know, mm-hmm. like a Don Cheetah level cameo or something. Yeah. By somebody. I don't I know agree. who, but or maybe some Asgard cameos would be cool. You know, to get over yeah, kind of do like, like what what kind of, like what Falcon or Soldier did with the, what, the Wakanda yeah something like that would be really cool uh huh I hope to get that but I'm not expecting like I won't expect Thor I do feel like Thor will show up in the show uh, I cause Chris Hemsworth has no reason to not really show up in I that really show. hope he does yeah like, and I hope hey, he's not fat though. <laughs> Chris Hemsworth's always down to show up so I'm like I'm sure he'd want to show up as Thor mm-hmm. but um I don't know I, I I'm not gonna hold hope for that that's like my big cameo I'm hoping hope for but not that much hope if I'm being honest, I think the main villain is going to be Mephisto. Mephisto. Yep. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Did you see that thing in the window that was like a devil and everyone thought it was Mephisto? Oh, what? You no. know, like that beginning scene in the church and they're by a window uh-huh. and there's a devil? It. Yeah, everyone was like, that could be Mephisto. Or the joking? And the writer just fully came out and he was like, no, no, no. He's like, it's not Mephisto. He's like, that's just a Loki reference because he kind of has like these huge uh-huh. like, horns like Loki's, Loki's helmet. Um, and he was like, yeah, there's no Mephisto in the show. He's like, we did not plan anything like that. So I'm glad that they're just coming out now straight up saying that. <laughs> that is not Mephisto. Yeah. Honestly, WandaVision should have done that. They really should have. They kept it, like, secret and stuff. But it's like, come they're on. like, oh, well, maybe it could be Mephisto. Teasing Ralph and stuff. I nope. also just love the memes now of Ralph Boner. It's just, like, such a meme. I know. Like, they're, they're always like, don't pull a Ralph Boner on us. <laughs> They're like, I don't want to do it. I wonder how, like, the writers of WandaVision feels about everyone hating that. They have to know it's a mistake. I hope Kevin Feige knows that, too. Uh, I feel like Kevin Feige, like, wouldn't like that. Yeah. Wouldn't like something like that, especially since he's been doing the MCU for so long. Yeah, I don't think he would, so... Ugh, we'll see. But, um, yeah, I think they're learning from their mistakes, and hopefully these shows get a little better. Like, the shows have been really good, and they're off to a pretty good start. Good enough, Mm -hmm. you know? Like, pretty... Like, I like the shows so far we've gotten. A lot of things I really like about them. But I, I, I am hoping these just kind of keep getting a little better, and this show I, is getting better. I do think having WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier come first did kind of, like, uh, it learned lessons from, like, future exactly. shows, having yeah. them come out first. Agreed, yeah. So then they're like, oh, we better not screw up on these <laughs> things again. Yeah, yeah. So I think that'll get good for all the future shows, and I, I don't see them all making mistakes too much. You know, we got pretty basic stuff. Um, yeah. Like what if and Hawkeye and Miss Marvel. So what if next? I think it is. Is it gonna be like every single week or something? Or? Yeah, I think so. Oof. How many? Episodes? I don't. I don't know though. I think it's only gonna be ten. Like the first, it's gonna be multiple seasons because they're gonna go through every MCU uh-huh. movie individually. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I don't want to wait so, like twenty. Yeah, weeks, the first season's like only episodes. nine or ten episodes or something. Okay. But I'm excited for that show. Actually, I'm really excited. That's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, It'll be kind of a break from all these shows yeah. too. Like. <laughs> Yeah. Well, if you had to give this episode a scale of 1 to 10, what would you put it? Um, yeah, I'm going to give it a uh, 9, because I liked it a lot. What about <laughs> you? I think I'll give it a 9, too. I was thinking it's a 9. Yeah. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll go up. That number will lower, like every show does. But Yeah. We'll see. So, there's our kind of theories and thoughts on that episode. Make sure you stay tuned. We'll be doing every episode each week. And, uh, like I said, we're doing Harry Potter, we're doing Lord of the Rings, Quiet Place 2, uh, we'll continue to go through other franchises, do a bunch of other videos too, a lot of sitcom yeah. stuff coming up too, um, make sure you just like and subscribe to us on Instagram at Daily Review Podcast, and, uh, comment down below what you thought of Loki in the first episode, what your theories are. You guys have a great week. See you guys.